going on everybody hope you're doing well today we are talking about boats specifically the tahoe t16 uh aka juice and um we have a lot of fun with it but today we are putting in carpet specifically the aquamarine matting floor matting uh really easy process especially for somebody who wants to do it yourself uh it's not a you don't have to be an expert or a professional at it and you will see uh, as i put this in tonight how seamless and how nice this can actually look when you take your time and do it right let's get into it When you first get the, the mats, it's gonna to come to a box like this, just a single box. It's gonna be really light, really, really light. So it's gonna be easy to carry. And then you're gonna have two plastic bags with mats in there. Really easy, they're just adhesive on the back. You peel the back off right here, just peel it back and then just stick it down according to the diagram. They, give a, they do a really good job of giving you a diagram to see. And so you're also gonna to wanna to make sure you have uh, two things, you want to have acetone, that's going to clean the residue off of your boat, uh, off of the floor, especially if it's not brand new and it hasn't been detailed in a little bit. Uh, and then you follow up with denatured alcohol. What I found to happen is I use the acetone first and I use this red, this red rag here. Uh, this little automotive, typical garage rag. And it did well, but it left a lot of red stain and residue because it's a brand new rag. So I haven't washed it before. So when I use the alcohol, I used a little car chamois type whack, rag. And what I did with this is I used this to wipe the alcohol and it got all the red dye off. And so it comes around and I look up over the top. So you see how it looks right there. It's not red. There's no red that you see anymore. All right, it's kind of give that little shiny tint. Now this part right there, the little centerpiece, I scrubbed that. That's just a different material. So it, it absorbs dirt a little bit differently. All right, so I talked about the diagram, right? That's gonna come in the box. So this is it. It's really easy to install, it's really easy to follow. You put the numbers that's on the sheet and you match it up to the numbers that's on the boat. So if you look right here, number 14, number 14, I know it goes here because on the sheet it says that it goes right here on the back of the boat. All right, really easy, really, really easy. All right, so I've got it lined up. If you see there's some grooves here, especially on the T16, these grooves that where they have the grip, it makes it especially easy. These grooves right here uh, for the grip, it makes it especially easy and it gives you kind of a puzzle piece or a trace to follow. Uh, and then you just slowly peel this piece, white piece back as you're slowly rolling it out. Uh, and then it sticks, it's pretty easy. And I'll show you the finished product in a second. All right, so the next step is the sheet said I need pieces nine, which is nine right here, 11 and 13. For me personally, just the way I like to work so I don't overwhelm myself, I like to make sure that I am limiting myself to two or three pieces at a time. Uh, reason being, it, it creates a lot less confusion. It makes sure I am able to stay focused, but this is just me. If you're anyone who is a little nervous about you know, doing it yourself, something like this, especially when you're, these things are expensive, you don't have time to really mess up, right? So I, I understand if you have that type of uh, anxiety or just kind of apprehension, limit yourself to two to three pieces at a time. Look at the diagram, just follow it one step at a time. So we've done 17, 16, 15, 14 have been completed, 13, nine and 11. And actually I missed 12. So I'm gonna go back and get the number 12 piece. I know I'm breaking my rule, that's gonna be at four, but because it's so small, I can do that one pretty quickly. And that's actually gonna go right here in that white spot right there, move these out of the way. So that should be pretty simple in itself. But again, do one step at a time. All right, we're about uh, a third of the way through, I would say maybe closer to 40%, but as you can see, it's lining up well, really easy. You just peel and press down, peel and play if you wanna call it that, but it is really easy. Enjoy the process, take your time, don't rush, because you do wanna make sure you get everything lined up nicely. But as you can see, if you take your time and get it lined up, I mean, it's, it comes together very, very nicely. 
Okay, now, so it comes with these extra pieces for the end. But if I'm being honest, I'm not sure I like it. So these pieces are supposed to fit like that. To me, one, we don't get into the boat from this angle anyway. It's simply an aesthetics thing for me. So I'm not going to add those on, but I am going to store them in a safe place in the event I find that we start using that entry and exit point of the boat. All right, guys, so the middle part of it, same thing. You always want to put it up here just to get an idea of where you want it to go, how it's going to match up, make sure it's lining up well. And uh, so this doesn't look like it's going to be a, a perfect match any way you do it. So at some point, you just have to go ahead and go for it. So just like a big sticker, you unpeel it a little bit at a time, just enough so where you can get some sticky going. But if you have to recorrect it, if you have to correct it quickly, you can. Like I said, it's not a perfect science. All right. So it's on there, and then I'm just gonna slowly roll it back. Slow, then roll it back. And there you have it. Then once you have it on there, again, taking your time. Don't rush it, take your time. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. And there you go, there you have it. Pretty cool guys. I'm satisfied with it. Look good to you, Nick? Yeah. Yeah. Got my son, Nick, here. Best assistant in the world, right? Right. Okay, same thing here. It also helps if you want to lay them out. I know earlier I said that it helps, you know, to do two or three pieces at a time, but once you get some confidence, it may actually help to lay them out. Everybody's different. Some people want to do it one piece at a time. Uh, sometimes for that instant gratification, it helps to be able to see your progress. And so that's uh, something I like to do. I've kind of did it both ways. I started off with a piece at a time or two or three pieces at a time. And once I got the flow of it, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and go for all of it. And I mean, you can see it's pretty, pretty simple. Guys, I am not an, a professional installer. And you can see how easy this is for me. And so uh, it's just a matter of taking your time and getting it done the right way. Same thing here, line it up. And again, you're lining them up by the diagram. And as you put them up next to each other, they should be symmetrical if you're doing it correctly. So, there you have it. Lining up symmetrical, looking good. Look good to you, Nick? Yeah. Yeah, awesome.
So this is it guys. I want to come back and let you see it in the daylight. This is what it looks like. All done, easy process, wasn't complicated. Well worth it. Hey, again, shout out to Lester Cowgill from LA Accessories. Check him out, he's based out of Florida. He can ship everything to you. He'll stay in constant communication. You will not go wrong. Hey, I appreciate you guys watching. Take care, enjoy the water, make some memories. God bless you guys.